morning. It's bright and early and bloody cold because we are back up in elevation. I think we are at about 3,600 meters at the moment and we are in the area of Kilatoa. Okay, buddy. You wanna go play with your friend, huh? Now I'm gonna go take advantage of the hot showers at the hostel that we're parked out the front of because they are amazing. These dogs. Morning. We have an awesome day planned. Let's get up. Now, since we're at an eco lodge that's not really in any towns, they offer to all their guests, including campers, um, three meals a day included in the price of the stay. So it was going to be 10 bucks for us to stay here and use all the facilities anyway, or 15 included breakfast, lunch, dinner, unlimited cookies, coffee, and tea. So it wasn't hard to say yes to the latter option. Let's go. Before we get going to the crater, we were told, is this the right way? I don't think so. We were told that there are llamas. And if you go to the very top of this property, you can hang out with them. And yes, it's pathetic how much I'm out of breath, but yeah. we're in altitude, yeah, that's true. Hi. Good morning, guys. Can we come hang out with you? <laughs> I want my coffee. <laughs> it's mine. Let's get together. Let's get together. Let's get together. Everybody, let's get together. Let's get together, let's get together, like family. So yeah guys, this is our normal morning routine, you know, if you want this, if you want to know about van life morning routines, this is it, it's just hot, hot shower, coffee, Llama. padding llamas, pretty ordinary stuff. What do you think Aki would do if you were here? I don't know if he'd be too happy. So unfortunately our battery's <laughs> running out, <laughs> Lee's trying to get one last llama selfie. Why? This is my first one. Oh, this could oh. be it. Max, you're in my selfie, get oh. it. <laughs> What do you reckon? We better get hiking, huh? I don't want to hike anymore. I've been hiking with llamas all day. Goodbye, my llama. Goodbye, my friends. Bye. Bye, mates. Well, I feel like that is a scene that we probably should have cut shorter than we just did. But, llamas, guys. I think that's my, one of my highlights of Ecuador. <laughs> it's one of Lee's highlights. And they didn't even like her very much. So I'm guessing everyone understands the concept of Pavlov's dogs. Straight into his spot. <laughs> the lamb was laid in the back. <laughs> <laughs>
So we've made it to the crater. We are just walking around the rim and checking it out. It's a bit overcast, but the sun is starting to peek out. And we think we just found one of the most epic campsites potentially ever. This is unbelievable. So we've just walked along this road and found this beautifully flat spot that has a campfire, which tells us that other people are camping here with this spectacular view. Let's try and get the van up here. So stoked that we're able to get the van in there. I think this is going to turn out to be one of our favorite camp spots ever. It's getting a little bit overcast over the Laguna, but there's a hike you can do down to the base. Apparently it's only three bucks to hire a kayak. So we're going to risk the weather and head down there hoping it gets better, not worse. We've a waterproof worse. bag, we're prepared, we have a rain jacket. For once we're prepared, fully waterproof backpack, just in case Oki gets crazy at the water again. Woohoo, good news is there's some sun. Bad news is over there, it looks like dark clouds and we just heard thunder. Hopefully we can get down in time. So it was $3 to rent the kayak per person. They tried to charge for Aki, but he said he'd rather swim. And yeah, it is stunning. Aki's taking charge in front of us. Hey buddy. I think Aki prefers to swim. <laughs> We're bringing him ashore so he can go back in the water. We made it and I think we've gotten out just in time because the rain is starting to come down. We're going to absolutely hoof it back to the van. Finally a dog that challenges Oki for Chunky Butt Award. <laughs> and he, he feels honestly kind of like a llama. Like he's super thick. And he just wants to play with Oki. Oh, play with him, play with him. So we've rearranged the van for camp for the night to give us a good view when we wake up. The clouds starting to roll through. It actually feels kind of fake here. It's yeah. It's like too surreal. Yeah, when the sun's out, it's so nice. When that sun goes away, it is bitter cold. So it's going to be interesting sleeping up here, eh? But this is one sunrise I refuse to sleep in for. Yeah, well also we can't even be lazy because we just have to open the door. No, no, right there. Right from bed, that's what you see. And from our side door, that is our other view. I feel like I'm wearing three different shades of the same colour. Does it look alright? <laughs> Ox coming up to say hi. So, one of the reasons we're extra stoked to have this campsite and to be able to spend a day at this lake, at this crater, is because in November of 2017, near the beginning of our trip, we went to Crater Lake and it was, what, under four feet of snow and we barely had any visibility of the crater, but it looks similar to this. It was also bloody freezing. Way colder, so this, we are rugged up, it's going to be a chilly night, but it's not going to be snow. Aki enjoyed Crater Lake snow though, yeah. didn't you buddy? And because we are essentially going to be waiting for the sunset for tomorrow morning, I think we're just going to chill this afternoon. There's a couple of things that need fixing on the van, which I was planning on tackling today anyway. Do you want to play a game of Settlers of Catan? Oh yeah, I can play a game. But first I'm going to fix the plumbing. Everyone, keep your ears out. You'll hear like a sound every now and then. And it's kind of like a doom. Every time it does that, there's a leak. And it's essentially there's pressure from the pump, there's constant pressure in there, and then when the water escapes, it's the sound of this turning on and off just for a second. And if you hear that sound, it's really good. Did you hear it? <laughs> I heard it, I don't know. I don't know if the camera caught it, but... If you hear that sound, it could be a small leak, but it could also be a really big leak. And if it's a big leak, you don't want water all through your van. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
So and you emptied that this morning. I emptied it this morning, sir. Oh shit, that's our biggest leak yet. Yeah. Thank you. For being our house mechanic, our car mechanic, our builder, Mr. Fix It. That's okay. There's a lot more that you do. The leak's just here. It's a it's a bit of a repetitive leak spot this one. Any plumbers out there? The suspense. There it is. That is the sound that indicates the leak. This little buddy is pooched from his hike down, up, and the swim. Time for a siesta, buddy. I'm just at the moment trying the old Titan technique to see if that does the job because I don't want to take it apart and have water go everywhere. Now I'm just gonna have to play the waiting game and hope I don't hear that sound again. It doesn't happen often. And to be honest, seeing how this was the first van we've ever built out, we've both been super happy with how everything's held up. But a van that you build yourself is going to be like living on a boat. It, it's going to need constant maintenance. And that's why it is important to have a toolbox that's organized. And it's important to learn how to do everything because you don't want to be relying on someone else to fix it every time. And yeah, it's fun to learn as well. Haven't heard one more sound, so I think that's problem solved, and I'm ready for Catan. I'm ready for food. Oh, you want to cook some food first? I don't know. Well, seeing how I was the plumber, are you the chef? Hmm. Let's see how this goes. I can whip up guac. Guac? I was thinking something hot. Hot chili. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, hot chili. Yeah. Hot chili, popcorn. Oh, I don't think about kernels. I don't think there's kernels. Forget it, guys. Day's over. Popcorn would be good. <laughs> we might have old kernels somewhere. No, we can do hot chili. I can either make another coffee. Do we have or... bread? No, we don't have bread. Chai. Oh and... my god, we have coconut uh, soy milk. Yeah. Yes. Chai while well, chai, chili, Catan. Afternoon done. It's funny to see what happens when you just keep the record button on on Max. It just starts chatting. What else is on your mind, Max? I feel like Gollum in his cave. The one. Ah, it is called My Precious. My Precious. I'm glad you actually got a movie quote once. Oh, wow. Time. Shush. Guys, she had it. No! <laughs> she <laughs> had it. <laughs> Lee's complaining she's getting a little chilly, but. Max is freezing us out. But I'll be damned if I close the door on this view. Excuse me, buddy. Excuse me, I know. Aki's Aki. I'm cold. Aki. Ah, buddy. Adam Cole. Okay, he's not giving a lot of room in the kitchen. The crazy thing is, is that the net, like the end of this vlog, we're going back to the beach where we're going to be in bathing suits. Like that's the the interesting part about Ecuador, where you're just you're we're way up in elevation and you're back down to sea level. Yeah, and, and I think so quick. I think especially Ecuador because it's so small. Yeah. Like it's literally probably by tomorrow night we'll be at the beach. Yeah, we're really blown away by Ecuador. Such a cool country. Yeah. Very underrated. It's kind of just a throw to go chili because we don't have all the normal ingredients. Um, so I don't have canned tomatoes, so I'm just doing lots of diced tomato. I'm going to use some of our pasta sauce because it's kind of like a... Is that pasta sauce different. we've still got from Mexico? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. We're trying to use up all the canned stuff that we've been carrying around for a long time. So we're going to do kidney beans, lentils, chickpeas, onion, garlic, tomato. I had a fresh jalapeno, some lime. I'm going to put an avocado through it just for texture, consistency. Um, and Do you then, cook the avocado through it or you put it through at the end? No, I'll put it through at the end. Yeah. And then some cumin, oregano, black pepper. I think we ran out of paprika. That'd be nice. We need some chili pepper too, but that's fine. I put jalapenos in. I've never been so happy for rain. All right, we're in our cabin. Let's get some heat in this baby. Getting a bit emotional over here. All right. It smells amazing. So yeah, so I'm just letting the onion simmer until it's golden. Oh my god. I'm put the tomatoes in and then I'm just gonna kind of add everything and let it cook all together for 25 minutes. So it's super easy. How's the chili looking first and foremost? It's looking good. It's hot oh. and we have some hot chai. We've been rationing our batch of chai that we got at Christmas because we just don't know when we're gonna be able to get some more. Oh god, I'm butchering this. Alright, what's happening? Okay, pause. <laughs> Let me do that again. As I was saying, if you haven't tried our friends Eamon and Bex Chai, we highly recommend it. And if you don't follow them, check out their channel. It's a good channel. Can we eat now? 
-hmm. Yes. Good work, chef. I have to warn you, viewer discretion is advised when watching Max and I play sports, games, or anything when we get competitive. Sometimes it can get intense. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Okay, actually, I'm gonna put a timer on you. Yay! Woohoo! Woo! 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 <sighs> Feels so good. <gasps> Give me a card. I don't have one. You have um, no cards? No. Nope. You didn't use all your cards. I did. I swapped four for the. Well, then you have to give me one when you get one. <laughs> no. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, oh, I get a card. That's not the way it works. Yes, it like, is. I don't have a card to give. It doesn't matter when you have a card to give. You have to give me one of your trade cards. Then. No, that's You not... have to give a card. I do not. You don't get away with no cards for having no cards. Bad luck, wait. That's not bad luck. That's wrong. Surely this is. There should be a when you roll. There should be a when you roll seven section. Huh. Doesn't say anything. So, how are you going to know? I think it's just if there's nothing to Whatever. steal, there's nothing to steal. Seven. You're not getting one of my cards. <laughs> I've waited so long to get that shape. The battery is dying, but we could be coming to a close here. So I've had to switch to the GoPro because the other battery died. It's game over. Good game. Good game. Shake. <laughs> and if anyone's noticed, we've got a little, no! little tally. Go away! And guess who goes back in the lead? Whoop, whoop! I'm really <laughs> upset right now. I was playing so well. I think Lee was a little upset. She's like, if he's recording, I'm just going to play it cool, but I can't because I care so much. I believe there is a little sunset going on. Oh, look at that. Today started with llamas, went kayaking, played Catan and won, and now look at this beautiful sunset. Only can hope that the sunrise is going to be even better. I think we'll check in with you in the morning. I've got paparazzi behind me. <laughs> so it is early and the sun is starting to come up, but unfortunately. It's raining and the clouds are sticking around. So I don't know if we're gonna be getting the good sunrise this morning. Last night wasn't as cold as we thought it was gonna be. Have a look where Oki's decided to sleep. Pretty much push Lee off I feel like. <laughs> I don't know what Oki's doing. <laughs> the sun's starting to happen out there, fam jam. The rain stopped. Roosters are crying. You're like some form of dragon. <laughs> this is not okay. What do you think? Is it time? It's to time to go to the freaking beach. We've been on the road for a couple hours now, I imagine. Two hours? The change in elevation is was drastic. We needed to pull over for some food and because our brakes were getting a little bit too much action. You can see on the glass behind us, the humidity change, it is hot. So we're putting away all of our boots and jackets and pulling out our tank tops. We just dropped like a few thousand meters in elevation. Yeah, feels like it. Yeah. And we're scrounging for food because we don't have a whole lot of food at the moment. Yeah. We need to accomplish something. It is the vital energy to make choices and decisions. So we are about five hours into our eight hour drive back to the coast and honestly time is flying today. Yeah, we're being uber efficient because we are 
listening to the book, audio book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It was Lee's choice. I thought I'd better give her a win, seeing how she couldn't manage one last night. Whatever. I'm not over that. <laughs> anyway, you guys know how we are big advocates of audiobooks. We think they're awesome not just for driving, but for doing any activity in the day, even especially like mundane things. And we think they can add value to your life at any point. Yeah, and Audible has been one of the biggest sponsors of this channel. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring today's video. And we even got my dad, who's been commuting for 25 years, to listen to his first audiobook on his drive. I commute to work about three hours a day. I've been doing that for about 30 years, and not once have I thought about listening to an Audible book. So Lee put me onto an Audible book just a couple of months ago. I was actually very amazed at how it helps pass the time getting to work and how interesting it was and, and, I, and I, I can't believe that I, I didn't do it years and years ago. So if you've never tried listening to an audiobook and you want to give it a try you can sign up at www.audible.com forward slash Max and Lee or you can text Max and Lee to 500 500 that does come with a 30 day free trial and one free audiobook of your choice to get started. Yeah, let us know what you thought. If you've got any good recommendations for us, please leave them in the comments below. We're always looking for new book recommendations. Morning. As you can probably hear by the background noise, we have both fans on full blast as we are back at sea level, back at the beach, and it was a bit warmer sleeping last night than the previous. So, as per usual, we found this spot on our trusty eye overlander. They said they parked behind beside palm trees for about five days and had no problems. But cool enough, when we pulled in the van, we also found one, two, three, and behind that there's a couple more vans as well. It's a large group of Argentinians traveling together and then we ran into a pair of friends that we had met way earlier in Colombia, I believe. Good dogs. Good dogs. So we hope you guys have been enjoying Ecuador as much as we have. We still can't believe the beauty that this country has to offer. And I think we feel very settled at this little beach town. So we're going to leave you there. We'll pick up next week right where we left off. And we hope you have a wonderful week. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help us. And otherwise, we look forward to sharing more with you next week.